get to know, before you got married, though, were you a girl, like a lot of girls like bad boys? Were you a girl that liked angels or devils? You know, devilish dudes or really good guys? Well, I think they might have thought that they were devils. <laughs> <laughs> but they were just kind of sad, pathetic guys. <laughs> You know, not, I mean, I, this is my second marriage, so I always, you know, but my first husband was not sad and pathetic. He was awesome. Um, but I think the guys that I dated in between my first husband yeah. and my second husband, because I was like, well, I've already been committed once. I'm really going to, like, know what I'm getting. Right, right, if I'm right. ever going to exactly. get married again. <laughs> exactly. So I just thought, I'm just going to date everyone. And when <laughs> you do that, it's great because you... You really get to know what you like, but then you also, you're dating everyone. You date a lot of and duds. It's, you, yeah, a yeah. lot, a lot. Very few dudes how do you, and lots wait, wait, of hold duds. On. How do you, a famous actress, end up with duds? Oh. How does oh, that honey, the oh. world's full of all Oh, I just love it. First of all, I was, I, I was going uh, about, like, you, a famous actress. I'm like, well, it's a slow news day. No, <laughs> no, no, no. No, um, uh, no, you meet people in the business all the time That's right. that, you, yeah. that you work with and that really don't care about celebrity. Or at least, you know, that is tricky, though, because you find out later if somebody, you kind of, it takes you a while. You sense whether or not they're with you because, because of it. Because of it. Exactly. Or, That's yeah. Right. That's right. Exactly. So hopefully they like you because you have weird toes. And they don't, like, that doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't bother them. Or that you like to eat frozen yogurt every night. Or something like that, that they don't think it's weird. But You know, I think that the, the fun part of it is the setup, but the part, I'm a very self-conscious person. Like, I don't even, like, I swear as a joke. All the time I say, I don't like looking down in the shower, but that's pretty much me. Like, I'm very <laughs> modest, like, freaky person. I don't think I would be good with like the hot scenes, you know, like the hot and heavy stuff. Yeah. Are you comfortable with that or does it kind of freak you out? Yeah. Well, you know, I do it, I'm asked to do it all the time, so. <laughs> no, um, I love no. you, <laughs> you're awesome. No, no but it is, it's, it is, can be, it can be really awkward. It would be as if all of these, the, the camera operators around here, you know, were watching you yeah. lay in bed and like kiss someone oh. and everything. That's not so bad. Tom Ellis is so lovely and yeah. British. So of course he's very reserved and very, you know, very um, uh, conscious. So he tries whoa, to make whoa, whoa, it easier whoa, whoa. for you? He's in sweat, literally, like in those scenes, he's in sweatpants, I'm in sweatpants, and like a so little, like, I, you, you brought, I gotta ask this question, because yeah. you kind of opened the door to it. Yes. Like, when you're doing these scenes, okay, mm -hmm. does the guy get energized? <laughs> Do they get energized? You know, I have so to ask that. Rage, I have, I everybody does. No, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good question to ask. Everybody does. And you know what happens is that, I, I worked with an actor one time that said to me, listen, I just want you to know right now, I apologize if something happens. Oh. And I apologize if it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's diplomatic. I like that.